Hello, Angela and Glenn. How are you both doing today? Fine, great. How are you? I'm doing great. It's so great to chat with you about this film. This film was a ride from start to finish, <laughs> and I loved it. I, I was telling Lee how it feels like the first film was like this, like drama thriller. But then when the horror kicks in, the jump scares were definitely <laughs> were, the jump scares were jump scare <laughs> halfway through the film. Um, but you two, I think you play, you know, of course, mother and daughter, but two very different. Um, styles yeah. of mothering that sometimes kind of, you know, come together at certain points of the film, but mm -hmm. other times are very different. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know for both of you, um, how is it like to portray these two mothers who kind of have a lot against them at many points of the movie, but still try to be loving and nurturing in the best way they can, even though that might not be the most optimal situation given their circumstances? Well, I think I was a woman who um, had always known abuse. I think she was caught up in the cycles of abuse. I think she was abused. She has abused her daughter. Um, she's trying to now, you know, change that, and she wants her daughter to find what she's found and to break that cycle. But you can't force somebody to do that. I think also I she wouldn't have survived if she didn't have strong women around her. Mm -hmm. You just have to, I just take that for granted that she's in a community that has strong women. And um, so I, I think what I love about the movie is it just, it not only talks something about a family and a very real family, but it talks about how do you, how do you stop those cycles of abuse? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think, um, I think there, you know, like she said, it's a cycle of abuse. And we're talking about, Lee very seamlessly talks about generational trauma and how that, you know, obviously we have the real story. It's, and it is based on a true story. So we have the real story of the demons and the demons that are possessing the kids and fighting those. And But it's also a metaphor for this idea that the, the generational traumas that we don't face or we don't deal with or we don't talk about or we don't heal, they will infect our kids and they will possess our children in a way. So I think Ebony is, she wants to be the best mother she can be. And I think deep down she wants her mother's love. She loves her mother. Uh, but I think this is a story of women just kind of doing the best they can with what it is that they have, you know. And, um, and then this situation, allowing this situation with the kids and with the supernatural aspect of it, allowing it to transform them. I think that with Alberta having found faith and having found Christ and having found the church, I think for Ebony, although Alberta is transformed and people around her are, but uh, around her are excited for her and, and believe her, I think Ebony was at the, she was at the tip of the fist, you know what I mean, or at the tip of the blade quite often. Yeah. So I don't think she feels safe enough to trust it yet at this point, you know, and so, um, but I love that because of um, Alberta's faith and because of her need to be a great mom and, and actually exercise a demon from her kids, um, she ends up coming into her own relationship with Christ, which I think for me as a believer was probably the most rewarding and amazing part about the film. Well, hello, how are you hey, doing today? <laughs> yes, period. What's going on? I'm better now since I'm chatting with oh, you. <laughs> so I love this film so much. I feel like um, I've been telling everyone that it feels like a drama thriller at the beginning, but as you go on, when the horror kicks in, like those jump scares are <laughs> jump scaring throughout the film. So I was like, a little bit during the film, but it was a really good movie. Um, your character is one who, you know, the Reverend's kind of, she's looming in the shadow. She's kind of lurking throughout the top of the film. And, you know, then once the film goes on, you realize she's actually like the linchpin of this film because she has an important job, an important purpose and reasoning um, for being there. So for you, what was like playing a character who kind of like, you know, it's kind of like in the background, but we, we know we know this character. We don't know quite what she's doing, but she has a purpose. Mm -hmm. But for her to like be kind of like so much in the middle of, you know, this deliverance that we speak mm -hmm. of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, you know, I, I just feel like she she wants to protect this family. You know, she knows what happened in the house. Um, and she wants to, you know, stand in the way of it happening again. You know, she, I, I, I just, I feel for me, it, it, 
we used to call them no, I, you know, folks call them nosy neighbors now, you know. But really, you know, it 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 harks back to a time when we felt safe to protect each other in that way, you know, that we would see this child or that family in trouble, and that we would you know, come to their aid, come to their help without without them having to ask. You know, here you have in, 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 in Ebony somebody who wants to be believed and nobody will believe her. I mean, she even says, why won't you believe me? Um, and here's a woman that says, I do believe you. You know, I just, yeah, that uh, that was powerful to me to 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 witness that and be a part of that. And what was it like being in a project that, you know, has a lot of elements of faith, specifically like faith in the black church, mm -hmm. um, black Christianity, but also something that, you know, may be a little bit taboo for a lot of people to talk about demons and mm -hmm. things like that. So what was it like for you to be a part of a project that kind of like brings both of those elements together? Yeah, you know, cultural, culturally, you know, I'm, 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 raised in the Baptist church. So we didn't do a lot of casting out demons. We believe in the devil now, but we didn't do a lot of casting out of demons. Uh, we didn't do a lot of speaking in tongues. There's, those lines are blurring a lot. You know, people of different faiths do that, you know, engage in that. Um, but but what I just think is, is, is interesting and what I was interesting for me and important for me is that I come from that tradition, a tradition of strong faith, right? And uh, I just, I wanted to honor that. I, I just felt like I wanted to make my grandmother proud, you know, or, or make my grandmother not be ashamed, <laughs> not be mad at me, <laughs> you know? So I came to work every day with, you know, with that intention. Yeah, it's so funny because I was telling Lee how, um, my, I told my mom I was doing these interviews today, and she was like, oh, Lee Daniels has a new film? And I was like, yeah. And I showed her the trailer. She was like, oh, yeah, my sororers. And she's also a Delta. Uh, so, she, so she was like, she was like, um, I'm gonna check it out. She was like, I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I, th I think you'll like, I mean, I think you'll like it. So it's interesting to see how people um, who, you know, are used to Lee Daniels, are used to seeing you in the projects, or Andrea or Monique will see this, but then have um, this element that they may not be particularly used to. So I'm interested to see the reception toward that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, he said from Jump, he's like, I wanna make a film about faith. You know, I wanted, it was really, really important to him you know, to do that. And I mean, it, it, he walked the walk in a, in a way, you know? I can't speak for him completely, but you know, he had the man who was my consulting, ap consultant Apostle Lewis, he had him say prayers before they shot anything during the day, you know? Um, so I, I, I mean, I, which I, you know, which I think set the tone, set the stage, you know what for what was possible to happen that on um, while we were shooting I'm so excited to chat with you about this film um, and it's one that we've covered for a while because I know it's been just dating for a while and it's been a project you've wanted to bring to the screen for a long time um, and from it being like the idea to the real story to finally move into Netflix um, for you why was this a story that you just really want to make sure got brought to the screen and in the specific way that uh, it's presented here as well. Mm -hmm. When it was first brought to me, uh, I did, it was right after Precious, and I didn't want to do it because I, well, I did want to do it, but my mother was like, no, you can't do it because of, of demons. And she really believes that, uh, she really believes that they'll jump on you. And so she's like, you can't do it. But as years progressed, I realized that it was time, we're in dark times. And I was really not about just a, a jump scare, but about finding your higher power. And so I really, and I personally needed to find my higher power. And that was for me, it was Jesus. Some people it can be Allah or Buddha, or whoever mm -hmm. your higher power is. But it was about finding your higher power because tomorrow isn't promised. Yeah. And speaking of that, I wanted to know, like, was it kind of, what was your experience in trying to toe the line between the, the elements of black faith and the black church, which are in this movie, but also like, you know, things such as exorcisms and things like that, that, you know, a lot of people, like you said, it's kind of 
taboo within like the black Christian or black religious community is kind of like, you know, it's something that a lot of people recognize, but for some people they're like, you know, we're not gonna, we're not gonna touch this. Yes. So for you, how is it kind of bringing the story that kind of had elements of both? Um, I'm, I come from uh, Episcopalian world, so this is a new world for me, but the world is real. And, and I, I know of uh, people, I've seen a deliverance, so I, I know of people that have been delivered, and I've seen demons myself, and it's, uh, it's terrifying. It's spooky. And, uh, but I thought it was important. I think that, you know, that it's real. You know, and I think that Christians, fake Christians that don't think that um, we should be seeing a film that's a faith-based thriller with curse words and all of that and all of that are unaware that Jesus walked with whores and with drunks and, and the derelicts of the world. And they're caught up in the, in the church as opposed to the spirit. If that makes any sense yeah, at all. Does. Yeah. Because I know, I had an aunt that saw the movies. Oh, well, I can't. Oh, this is just, I mean, you know, they got cursing and all sorts of. And I go, all right, well, you know. No, I, Phony. Well, honestly, <laughs> honestly, though, um, I was I was um, telling my mom, I was like, you know, I'm interviewing Lee Daniels about his new movie. Then. And he was like, oh, what what, what new movie Lee Daniels have? They're like, here's the trailer. And she was like, oh, I'm going to check it out. Because like, she was like, I'm going to check it out. <laughs> Not yet, no, no. Okay. When it comes, she's, she's going to check. It's on her radar. Mm -hmm. But it's interesting to see... Um, how people will respond to something that you know may not necessarily be something that would draw they would be drawn to initially, you know. I uh, have never done anything for the masses. You know, I do it for myself, and I, but I find myself surprised that the masses like it. You know, I just sort of I don't I don't jump to the tune, you know, of everybody else, uh, and I have to do what my spirit tells me to do, and. Uh, I only, I also did it because I really wanted to stretch myself as a filmmaker, because I'm known for dramas, so I really wanted to do something that was different for me. And, uh, and this was different, it's scary, you know, I'm not gonna do it again. <laughs> it was scary not only because it was a scary film, you know, but it was also scary for me to understand the pacing of, of, a, of a thriller. This is more like, you know, as opposed to the drama you know, which is a different sort of energy. So that was a, that was a learning experience for me. Yeah. By the end of the movie, the, the jump scares were definitely, <laughs> the jump scares were jump scaring at the end of it, because it starts off like, you know, it's more, it has like the, like the first half of months were like, you know, it is a thriller, but it's also a drama. But then once the horror kicks in halfway, I was did you like, enjoy it? yeah, I did, I did, I did. But thank you so much for chatting with me, and I can't wait for more people to see this, because I need to talk about it with more people. <laughs> but um, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day.